What's up, party people? Uh, a few days ago, I watched Moneyball uh, for the second time. Uh, saw it in the theater, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it made my top 10, I believe, top 10, maybe top 15 of the year, at least. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed the second viewing. Um, I have no problems giving it a 9. I think it's uh, fantastic. Um, Moneyball is about uh, the true story of Billy Bean. Um, he is the general manager of the Oakland A's in the year 2000 and maybe 2001. Um, he has uh, an all-star lineup that took him to the World Series. Uh, they are now losing said lineup, and they want to. Uh, he wants to replace them uh, with uh, average players that make up the same, I guess, batting average. Um, anywho, it's uh, what is uh, maybe it says here what I'm trying to think of. Um, it does not. The science of baseball has a particular. Um, name, and now it escapes my memory, founded by Bill James, is that what his name was? Um, anyway, uh, so the film is about the technicalities, um, the behind the curtain goings on of the game of baseball. But it, that's just the backdrop. Uh, what makes this, you know, the movie so effective uh, and so personal is that it's about, you know, a man's life and a man's struggle with <sighs> achieving his goal, uh, reaching his dream, uh, and what will he do to do that? What won't he do uh, to get that done? Um, it really is just about life, uh, which is what makes it so powerful, I think. Um, okay, the movie stars uh, Brad Pitt, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Jonah Hill, um, oh, Robin Wright, uh, Spike Jones, um, a guy from Parks and Recreation, I haven't memorized his name yet. He's really funny in Parks and Rec. Um, uh, who else is in here? The cast is is filled out with <clears throat> uh, naturals. Uh, I call them non-actors. People uh, in the baseball scene um, who are just there to play themselves, pretty much. Uh, scouts. Um, you know, I don't even know what their title would be. You know, it's just like a committee uh, that is like behind the, uh, the curtain of every baseball team. Um, but the film is filled out with, with people who are just being themselves. And I think that's kind of what uh, makes the movie awesome is you've got Brad Pitt, um, one of our foremost superstars, uh, surrounded by non-actors, naturals, um, who uh, are again just there to be themselves. So it's interesting to see him play off that. Uh, I think that also elevates his performance and in a way kind of makes it stand out as a performance, but um, I, you know, I think it makes the performance great. Um, I, long story short, think this is Brad Pitt's best work. Um, I don't. I don't think he's been this good since, uh, you know, True Romance. Um, I, I think he's. Uh, I think he's great in this. I mean, uh, he was also an executive producer on this. Uh, this was a passion project for him, so he had a lot writing on it. Uh, I also think he had a lot of heart uh, put into it, um, and I don't know. I think he knew that this was like his time to shine. I think it was his story, you know, his project. Um, so he really, really nailed it. And I think in a way they always say that 
an actor is never better than when he's not acting. Uh, you know, when they find a character that's just pretty much like them. Uh, I think Billy Bean is very much like Brad Pitt. And I don't think Brad Pitt had to do much acting at all uh, to really nail the character. Um, I, th I have a feeling they're both pretty similar and that he found a lot of common ground. Um, all the acting is really good. Uh, Jonah Hill's good. I don't know if he was Oscar nomination good, but again, the film is so good that uh, he, you know, stands out. Philip Seymour Hoffman, always fantastic. Always fantastic. Here he's kind of uh, relegated to, you know, I won't say it's a one-note role, but it, you know, it, it, he doesn't have so much to do. He basically has to be like disappointed and angry and occasionally awestruck, which, you know, Philip Seymour Hoffman's one of our great actors, um, and so he has no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, the film was directed by Bennett Miller. Bennett Miller also worked with um, Philip Seymour Hoffman in uh, Capote. Uh, that, this is Bennett Miller's second film, uh, which is very impressive. Uh, he did Capote with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Capote, not the other Capote movie that I'm forgetting now. Uh, I'd say the real star of the show here, um, are the, are, are the writers. The, the screenplay was written by Steve Zalian and Aaron Sorkin. Uh, they have won, uh, Academy Awards Oscars for their writing. Uh, Steve Zalian, off the top of my head, uh, I know won for writing uh, Schindler's List. Uh, Aaron Sorkin won for writing uh, The Social Network. I mean, you have two giants here uh, in the writing world. Uh, so it's, it's almost kind of like a dream team. I can't imagine them working together I mean, perhaps they did. Uh, I see this more of like, because it took forever to get this movie made. Uh, like something like maybe seven years and a couple different studios. Uh, again, there was much drama in bringing it to the screen. So I don't know. I ha would imagine that like Steve Zalian wrote the first draft and then like after it moved studios or something happened and then uh, perhaps Aaron Sorkin did a rewrite. Again, I can't imagine two titans of the writing world, you know, working together. I imagine that would be some kind of ego clash. Uh, so perhaps they, you know, share the credit and it was more of like a rewriting situation. I don't know. Anyway, you've got two brilliant writers fleshing out these characters. And again, it's the star of the show. If you don't have a story, if you don't have a script, then you have nothing. Uh, and it makes you know it makes it seem like they have everything here and I think that's again kind of what makes the acting uh, so good in the film is that the writing is so good uh, I mean it's excellent it, it's incredibly natural um, you don't have to be uh, the world's biggest superstar to make this dialogue sound you know cool uh, to make it seem natural to make it seem just fresh. Uh, you know, it would be an actor's dream to have such a well-written uh, screenplay. Um, so, it, it, again, every every character you meet, even just the, the minor characters who have like one scene, seem to uh, have a lot going on, and everything they say, uh, like, expresses uh, some level of their character. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed that. And then when you have a character that's, you know, that's in the film a lot, I mean, you really get to know them. Uh, you really understand uh, how they think. Um, I, again, I think the, I, the writing is a mystery to me. I don't see how writers can do that, really, uh, to make up such conflicting personalities and yet make them seem so real and yet they're all coming from one mind um, you know it's it's just uh, magic to me 
Uh, but the the writing here is is stellar. Uh, it was nominated for best adapted screenplay. It did not win, though I cannot remember what won right now. Um, I thought the movie was great. You know, I, I don't really know what else to say about it. Uh, everything was fantastic, uh, gorgeously shot. Um, I thought the Blu-ray could have looked a little better. I, I I still thought there was some grain to it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, but it's a good-looking film. It's intelligent. It's got a lot of heart. Uh, you know, it. you can uh, identify with it you know, and on many levels. Uh, it's fascinating to see behind the scenes of the game of baseball. Um, you know, I, I felt like I learned a lot about something that I don't really uh, know that much about. Um, I mean, maybe if you're a baseball fan, you don't want to see how this works. You don't want to see the, uh, um, you know, the dirty work. Uh, but I, I found it fascinating. I found it fascinating. Um, I suppose that's about it. I can't really think of anything. Um, great film. Uh, I think, you know, I'll watch it again someday, um, and it will be a great film. I, I think it's just well made and will definitely, uh, stand the test of time. And it's by far, uh, Brad Pitt's best performance, uh, you know, easily. Um, good stuff. So that's uh, Moneyball. I'll wrap it up there. Uh, for me, it's a solid nine. You know, great stuff. Thank you very much.